Welcome to Storytime with Miss Chante, and today we are going to read Giraffe Problems by Jory, John, and illustrated by Lane Smith. Well, this little giraffe has a very big problem. What? Oh, you've noticed my neck. You can't take your eyes off of it. I honestly don't blame you one bit. It's pretty tricky. Things to ignore. It's a pretty tricky thing to ignore this neck. Yep. It's just a neck. Neck, neck, neck. And then more neck. There's nothing I can do about it. Believe me, I have tried. It doesn't matter if I shrug or hunch or scrunch or bunch myself up. My neck is here. It's there. It's everywhere. All at once. Sheesh. So gather around and stare all you want. Flip through the pages and gawk. And, or don't, read my layman or simply move on. It's not going to change anything. I've already said too much and the book hasn't even started. I'm probably making you feel bad. I seem to have that effect on folks, myself included. So, you're still looking at my neck, huh? Right. It's hard to see anything else with this neck around. <sighs> so now let's start the book. Giraffe problems. I feel bad about my neck. I do. I can't help it. It's too long, too bendy, too narrow, too droopy, too patterned, too stretchy, too high, too lofty, too necky. Yes, my neck is too necky. Everybody stares at it. Are you staring at his neck? This guy, that guy, him, them, her, whatever is that, her again. Ugh. Yep, I feel bad about my neck. I've tried dressing it up. I've added a scarf, two scarfs, a bundle of scarfs, a mountain of scarfs. I've tried bow ties and regular ties and both. Oh, poor giraffe. I've tried hiding it away. I've used shrubs. I've hung out in ditches. I've stood behind trees. I've spent time in the river. Other animals have necks that just work. Take a gander at this zebra's neck. Stripes always look good. So classic. Quit staring at me. Or glaze upon this elephant's neck. Strong, powerful, yet graceful. Stop talking about me. Or glimpse this lion's whose neck is adorned with gorgeous mane of flowing locks. What a sight. How inspiring. 
Why can't I have a neck like that? Are you always this loud? My mom always said I should be proud of my neck. She said other animals would love to have a neck like this. Yeah, right. No offense, Mom, but nobody wants this neck. It's a neck only a mother could love. It all makes me want to hide until the sun sets. Zish. Good evening. I've I've been admiring your neck from afar. Oh, how I wish my neck looked like yours. I'd get so much done in a day. Goodness, I can't. I can only imagine all the reaching and grabbing and looking around I'd do. I'd accomplish s s many of my goals for sure. Meanwhile, I'm saddled with this little excuse for a neck. Here, watch me try to stretch it out. Ugh. See, that's about as far as it goes. Pathetic, right? I'm basically neckless. Whew. You'd feel bad about your you feel bad about your neck too. Yep. Huh. I'm Cyrus, by the way. I'm Edward. It's lovely to meet you, Cyrus. Can I tell you something else, Edward? Of course, Cyrus. There's a hill in the distance which you can surely see from your great advantage. I've stood on that very hill for seven straight days now, staring skyward, watching as a single piece of fruit, a lone banana, slowly changing from green to yellow, ripening. I've endured windy nights and unseasonably brisk mornings with very little sleep as I wait. And I wait, hoping against hope that the fruit will drop before me so I could sample its sweetness nourish myself in the process yet after day yet day after day i've yet to feel such a fool as i stretch my neck forward those greedy branches only to be limited by my own physical shortcoming oh You want a banana from a tree? That's what I said, yes. Plunk. <sighs> Here you go. Whomp. Oh, you did it. You made it look so easy. Munch, 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 munch. Delectable. So that's what a banana tastes like. Hmm. It was worth the wait. Oh. Edward, face it. Your neck is impressive. It allows you to do amazing things. For instance, you just solved my week-long banana dilemma in 10 seconds. Well, thank you, Cyrus. I think you have a swell neck, too. It's elegant and dignified, and it works well with your shell. That means a great 
deal to me, Edward. Say, do you like bow ties, Cyrus? Um, I'm not sure, Edward. I have very little experience with them. Oh, look! You look wonderful, Cyrus. As do you, Edward. Oh, the bow ties work for both of them. I feel good. I feel good about my necks. I feel good about our necks, Edward. Thank you, Cyrus. For once, so do I. Yes, for once, so do I. The end. And they solved the giraffe's problem. Well, I hope you enjoyed the book. And come back and join us next time. Bye.